Marketers of the world, why do we work hard to solve small problems? It's time to bring home bigger paychecks. It's time to create the lifestyle we deserve and to make a greater impact. This is the Fractional CMO Show, and I'm Casey Stanton. Join me as we explore this growing industry and learn to solve bigger problems. The Fractional CMO Show is sponsored by CMOX, the number one company to teach you how to attract, convert, and serve clients as an in-demand fractional CMO. Hey, it's Casey here, and I've got a simple rule for you. This is your mission. If you're working with a client and you're their CMO or their fractional CMO, number one thing you should do, get the list. Get the list. This is what you must have. You must have the list. Are you working in some kind of limited um, industry? Are you working in the uh, beverage industry? Let's say in the craft beer industry. If you are, go identify every single craft brewery, figure out who the owners are, get their contact information, get their mailing information. Go get it. How do you get it? I don't know. Go get it. There's a plenty of ways to do it. D7 Lead Finder. You could do some you know, web scraping. You could hire someone offshore to pull it. You can purchase databases, whatever. Get the list. Let's say you're working in the financial services market and you say, oh, it's really hard to find high net worth people. Okay, true. It's going to be hard to get that list, but you can probably find partnerships to put you in a position to get their list. That's pretty good. If you're in the direct to consumer space, how do you go get the list of all the consumers? Tough, right? Because there's like potentially millions of people. Again, joint ventures, partnerships, finding other people who already have the list, who have a non-competitive product or service that you can go sell to their list, they don't lose any money, and then you give them a uh, like an affiliate commission, right? A JV commission from it. This is such a killer idea. This is such a big deal. Get the list. Get the list. When you think of the clients that you're currently working with or the ones that you're thinking about closing, I want you to ask, is there a definitive list that exists online? Let's say you have a client that um, sells some kind of uh, SaaS tool and they have a competitor that has another SaaS tool. And you want to go win those customers over. Well, how do you figure out who is using your competitor's SaaS? Go to the website builtwith.com. At BuiltWith, you can type in the name of the software, and then you can purchase from BuiltWith a definitive list of all of the websites that use the software. Even better with BuiltWith, you can identify who is um, changing that software, who's out of date on that software. Right? Who's a couple versions back or who just swapped in a new pixel code to test something different? Maybe that person, maybe that company is considering leaving that software for another one. They're right in the middle of a buying decision. If that's the case, get in front of them, pitch your product or service. Get the list. Where else can you find the list? What makes sense to you? If you're selling to a known quantity, like to dentists, dentists in the Northeast, just find all your cities. And then go and scrape all the Google My Business listings and get all their contact information. And then do something with that. Right? There's, there's um, a public record that's available. There's tools like Apollo.io that can help you find lists. Just get the list. Once you have the list, how you attack the list, that's a whole other discussion. But I want to get uh, like inside of you. I want this to be like, you know, um, uh, crispered into your DNA. That when you think of working with a client, you think of getting the list. So go get the list for your clients. Have a strategy, have a process for it, and then be able to leverage that list. But the most important thing is to get the list. If you'd like to hear more uh, of these ideas, subscribe to the podcast at fractionalcmoshow.com and join our Facebook community at cmox.co forward slash community. That's cmox.co forward slash community. We've got the biggest group on Facebook for fractional CMOs. We vet each and every person who applies. So if you're considering joining our free Facebook group, be sure to answer all of the questions. Uh, I have my team personally go through all of those and uh, review and make sure people are legit. We look at your profiles. If you look legit, we'll let you in. Uh, if you don't look legit, um, you just won't get past the front door. All right, that's cmox.co forward slash community. Thank you for joining us for today's show. For more information and episodes, visit our site at fractionalcmoshow.com. Go ahead and punch that like and subscribe button on your favorite podcast app. It means a lot, at least to my mom.